Hello kids! You are now watching Re Learnings. I am Teacher Rina. I will be your partner in acquiring new knowledge. Are you ready for our lesson for today? Yes, teacher! Hmm. Very good! So just sit back, relax, and enjoy our lesson for today. Changes in materials from liquid to solid. Remember, in our previous lesson, you have learned that there were some materials that can change from solid into liquid. This is the melted butter. In our activity 1, you have learned that the butter is solid. When we heated it, it melted and became liquid. What do you think will happen if the melted butter is left in the pan for an hour? Without the application of heat, especially under a cold weather, what do you think will happen to the butter? Hmm. Changes in materials from liquid into solid are caused by lowering of temperature under reaching the freezing point of the materials. It is no taking that some liquids, when cooled down, readily freeze and solidify. Some need very low temperature to do so. When this happens, the liquid material changes its form, shape, and texture. All we need is a very low temperature. Now, let's listen to our poem, written by Arlene B. Lim. It is entitled, Magic Popsicle. Let's see and learn why it is entitled, Magic Popsicle. Today, my mom shows me a magic. Milk and water, she stirs and mixes. Put it in a container with a popsicle stick. Place inside our freezer, then I wait. Happy and excited about what it tastes. The magic popsicle after 60 minutes. Wow! The liquid mix freezes. No, it is not magic because liquid when cooled becomes solid the magic popsicle written by Arlene B. Lim you've learned in our poem that the popsicles become solid after placing it in the freezer for 60 minutes. From liquid, it hardens and becomes solid. This process is called freezing or solidification. 
What do we call this process? Very good! Freezing or solidification. Take note of this. There are liquid materials that can be changed into solids by freezing. If you will place the water, melted cheese, and ice cream in the freezer, they will harden and turn into solids after a few hours. This happens because they have reached their freezing point. What is the reason why this thing happened? Very good, because they already reached their freezing point. It is also noting that some melted materials can be hardened without the use of freezer. By simply exposing any melted materials to open spaces with cold temperature, it will solidify after a few hours, thus allowing solidification to happen. All we need to do is expose these materials to open spaces with cold temperature. Example of this is chocolate. When we place it in an open space with cold temperature, it will solidify. Another one is oil. Some oil or cooking oil, when placed or exposed in a cold temperature, it will solidify. Now, let's have an activity. I want you to get your pencil and paper. Write through if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Write your answer on your paper. Are you ready? Yes, teacher! Number one, oil solidifies when left in an open space with cold temperature. Oil solidifies when left in an open space with cold temperature. Number two, melted margarine will not harden anymore even when put inside the refrigerator. Melted margarine will not harden anymore even when put inside the refrigerator. True or false? Number 3. Your juice will solidify when placed in the freezer. Your juice will solidify when placed in the freezer. True or false? Number 4. Water will solidify when placed inside the refrigerator. Water will solidify when placed inside the refrigerator. True or false? Number 5. Soft drinks will not solidify when put in a freezer. Soft drinks will not solidify when put in a freezer. True or false? Today, you have learned the following. First, phase change can happen when the temperature of the material 
is decrease. Remember, when the temperature of the material decreases, phase change can happen. Number 2. Freezing happens by decreasing the temperature of the materials. Freezing happens by decreasing the temperature of the materials. And lastly, liquids can be changed into solids by freezing. Liquids can be changed into solids by freezing. And that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope that you've learned something from our topic. Remember, when there is willingness to learn, you will acquire knowledge easier. Goodbye! Stay tuned for other videos!